Imagine losing your memories, your history piece by piece. For the five million Americans who suffer with Alzheimer's disease, this is their reality. For the resident, a diagnosis of Alzheimer's is devastating. For their loved ones, it's heartbreaking. It was more than a decade ago that Kathy Clayton noticed something wasn't right with her mother. We had noticed before that she was having hard times remembering things. And we just uh, thought, well, she, she's getting older. That happens to all of us. But that's where it started. And uh, it got to where she couldn't remember things. So we had to move her and took her to doctors in San Antonio. And that's where she was diagnosed. And it was approximately 11 to 12 years ago. And it's just been a very slow decline ever since. Alzheimer's destroys brain cells, causing memory loss and confusion, severe enough to affect relationships and work. Over time, Alzheimer's worsens and eventually kills. Today, it's the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. The first stage of Alzheimer's disease generally starts with some mild forgetfulness. People will misplace items and are unable to backtrack and locate them. The second stage of Alzheimer's disease would be the moderate stage. People might, in this time of life, have periods where they're repeating questions over and over again, uh, the same phrases, um, are having more difficulty learning new tasks and or remembering how to do those tasks. In the late stages, we see things like people are unable to perform self-cares anymore. They really have to rely on other people to take care of them. End of life for these folks occurs in a couple different ways. Their muscles become very rigid, so they tend to fall frequently, which can lead to a fracture or a head injury. Some of them end up in a situation where they really don't want to get out of bed. They're only content in bed, curled up, and you really cannot get food and fluids into them anymore. Alzheimer's disease has cognitive symptoms like memory loss and behavioral symptoms like agitation and emotional outbursts. It's frustrating for both the resident and the family. The scariest part for me was feeling like she was locked in her body and that she was trying to tell me things and she couldn't because she can't remember language. And so I was always afraid for her. And I'm just now beginning to understand and have a better understanding of dementia and Alzheimer's. For some, prescription drugs can slow the progression of the cognitive symptoms. Tackling the behavioral symptoms of Alzheimer's doesn't require medication, but it does take patience. While there is still no cure, researchers are breaking new ground every day in treating these symptoms and improving the quality of life for those with Alzheimer's. Bridge to Rediscovery is an innovative therapy that engages people with Alzheimer's and helps them reclaim the joy in everyday life. Tailor-made for each individual resident, Bridge to Rediscovery has been shown to decrease some behavioral symptoms such as yelling. Bridge to Rediscovery gets family members directly involved with their loved one's treatment. In the late stages of Alzheimer's, seniors often don't recognize their own family members, but Bridge to Rediscovery delivers a way to help them reconnect during visits. Using what are called memory boxes, families can reconnect with residents who struggle to remain in the present. They may be back in 1957 when um, their first baby boy was born. And so we need to go there, we need to follow their journey. And opening that memory box is going to bring, bring that back to them. An example of one of our boxes would be for someone who was a, a home ec teacher. We would have in her box, we would have probably some cooking items, some recipes. We may have um, some material, a zipper if they used to sew their own clothes or their children's clothes. And then we would also have questions for the staff. So they'll have the questions right there to, to ask them and to initiate um, conversation with them. I showed her a picture of herself, you know, as she's older, she's 90, she just turned 90. And she said, not me. I said, yes, mother, that's you. Well, she kept holding on to it. And she had not done that before. So she really studied it for maybe 10 minutes. And finally, she sit, looked at me and she said, that's me. <laughs> that's a biggie. That's a real biggie. She said five words and made a sentence the other day. 
and it was, I love you, pause, and she looked at me and she said, very much. That was phenomenal as far as I'm concerned. Bridge to Rediscovery was developed by Five Star Quality Care, a health services company dedicated to helping seniors live with independence and dignity in residential communities. Five Star believes that seniors with Alzheimer's can still have meaningful lives. Bridge to Rediscovery lets them feel important, valued, and understood. It's an exciting program that may revolutionize the lives of those who suffer with Alzheimer's. Bridge to Rediscovery is, is unique to any other program um, because we don't set an activity for 20 minutes or 30 minutes. We are fine to get eye contact for two minutes, to, for five minutes. That's an engagement and that means that that's just a small part of the whole day, but we do that throughout the whole day. As long as the resident is up and able to um, participate, we're engaging that resident and it's a meaningful engagement and it's a successful one. And you see more smiles and more hugs and more pats on the back than anything since we started uh, Bridge to Rediscovery. We capture what that resident still has to give. And I'm sorry, our residents have a lot to give and we bring it out in them and that's what makes our, our program special. Before we started on the Bridge to Rediscovery program, I'd sit in the car before I came through the front door, first of all, trying to steel myself to get in the right mental framework and try to get rid of all the job pressures and stuff that I have on the side. And then when you walk through that door, you have a huge mental readjustment. And that's been one of the, one of the highlights is, okay, now I have some activities that I can do that will make the, uh, it a little bit more fun for both of us. Since my dad's been in uh, Bridge to Rediscovery, um, I get to actually participate with him um, more than when he was in assisted living with my stepmother. Now when I go to see my dad, typically he's involved in some activity in the common room, anywhere from bingo to kicking a ball around or listening to a guest who's brought in a slideshow of a trip to the Alps or all kinds of uh, things like that. I rarely find him in his room. And he's, he's usually up and doing something. And that's really cool. And if he's engaged in any activity, uh, like the big puzzles, I'll sit down with him and we'll work with the puzzles. He also likes to stack uh, the Jenga blocks. If, if he's engaged in something, I'll try to be there and engage with him. The race to find a cure for Alzheimer's is on. But until a cure is found, Bridge to Rediscovery will help those with Alzheimer's feel connected, understood, and bring joy to their lives every day. The Bridge to Rediscovery program is morphing as we go on and time goes on. And I see facilities resourcing with each other, calling back and forth and saying, wow, we had really good success with this program. Why don't you try it at your facility? And you know, what are you doing that's really, is really good? It's just generating a lot of excitement. For more information about Bridge to Rediscovery and Five Stars Residential Communities, visit fivestarqualitycare.com.